PowerPoint is from the Tools of the Mind curriculum. This is PowerPoint number three, Interdependence in the Savannah. Like all ecosystems, the savanna is a community of interdependent plants and animals working together so the whole ecosystem can flourish. One way animals work together in the savanna ecosystem is by teaming up with other members of the same species. In the Serengeti, many herbivores like zebras and wild beasts live in groups called herds. Some of these herds are humongous. Wildebeest sometimes form groups of up to 100,000 animals. Wildebeest. Think about it. How am I traveling in a big group? help prey animals like the wildebeest. When the savanna grasses dry up in the winter, herbivore herds migrate across long distances to find food. In the Serengeti, this almost 2,000 mile trek is called the Great Migration. It can take up to three months. Millions of wildebeest, zebras, antelope, and other animals make this journey every year. A major reason herbivores travel in herds is for safety. Predators are often too overwhelmed by the size of big groups to attack. Animals in herds can also work together to spot predators, warn the group, and protect their young. In fact, all across the earth, most prey animals stick together in groups. Zebra. Savannah carnivores sometimes live in groups too. Lions live in groups called prides, and hyenas live in packs. They work together to hunt larger animals, find and share food, defend their territory, and teach their children. Other carnivores, like cheetahs and leopards, prefer to live alone. Lion pride. Hyena pack. Think about it. If you were an animal in the savanna, would you prefer to live in a group or by yourself? Why? Some animals in the savanna help other kinds of animals. The oxpecker is a bird that eats insects like ticks and termites. It has a special relationship with another animal to help it get food. Oxpecker. Think about it. Look carefully at this picture. Can you guess where the oxpecker finds its insect food? It's not on the ground. Oxpeckers spend a lot of time on the backs of large savanna animals, like the rhinoceros. They eat the itchy insects that live in the animal's fur or skin. The big animals benefit by getting rid of these bugs, and the oxpecker benefits by getting a constant supply of food. Rhinoceros. The, the large animals get an added benefit from their interdependent relationship. The oxpecker has better eyesight than many of the animals it lives on, so it's able to spot predators and warn its host by hissing and squawking. Since both animals benefit from their teamwork, the interdependent relationship between oxpeckers and rhinoceroses is called mutualistic. There are even interdependent relationships between humans and birds in the savanna. Members of the Yao community in Mozambique have a mutualistic relationship with honey guide birds. The yao and the honey guide birds eat different parts of beehives. The yao eat the delicious honey and the honey guide birds eat beeswax and bee larvae. Honey guide. How do they help each other? Honey guide birds can't get inside the beehives by themselves. Instead, they communicate with humans for help. Honey guide birds lead the yow to where a hive is located. The yow open the hive and harvest honey, 
leaving behind the wax and larva for the birds to feast on. Both benefit. What about plants in the savanna ecosystem? Savanna plants provide food for animals, but are there other ways savanna plants help animals? Think about it. Imagine you're a lion and it's summer in the savanna. The sun is beating down and you're hot and sticky. Are there any plants that could help cool you down? Trees provide shade for savanna animals. The tree blocks the heat of the sun and casts a shadow on the ground, making the ground cooler. Animals often relax in the shade of trees like the baobab or acacia trees. Trees and other tall plants also provide protection from predators. Birds make their nests in high tree branches where predators can't reach their young. Do animals help plants in the savanna? One way animals help savanna plants is by dispersing their seeds. Ants and birds carry seed pods to new places so they can grow. Elephants are one of the most impressive seed dispersers, carrying seeds miles and miles away. Think about it. What are some of the ways you think animals might move seeds? They don't have pockets. Some plants and animals have a mutualistic relationship where both species benefit. Acacia trees have hollow bumps on their thorns that ants use as a home. The acacia tree's fruit produces nutritious nectar that feeds the baby ants. In return, ants protect acacia trees from animals. When giraffes try to eat acacia leaves, the ants swarm out and sting the giraffe until it goes away. Think about it. Pick two living things in the savanna and think about how they are connected. Do they help each other or does only one benefit? Here are our glossary words from this PowerPoint. Great migration, pride, oxpecker, elephant, giraffe, honey guide, ant, acacia tree, wildebeest.